Hello everyone, my name is Thomas McGuigan, and I'm happy to see all of you. There's someone I want to tell all of you about. His name is Michael Savage, also known as Sir Tony. He's a historic member of the Marquis Who's Who in America, and the president of Sir Tony Films Incorporated. Sir Tony's films are meant to help humanity where the actors are the special effects. He is an experienced president with a demonstrated history of working in the entertainment, in entertainment industry. As an award-winning actor and former star of General Hospital and an award-winning filmmaker many times over, he is skilled in all aspects of filmmaking. A producer, writer, director, editor, composer, and many other roles. He has strong business, he's a strong business development professional with a BFA and honors focused in theater and film from SUNY to purchase. And he shared an honorary Tony Award with the acting company of Juilliard circa 2003. Thus the brand name Sir Tony and the birth of Sir Tony Films Incorporated. Here is a special testimonial to inspire everyone about this pioneer filmmaker. Eric Halsey said, Artists like you, Michael, also known as Sir Tony, create identities for cultures and societies. That's why I call you the 22nd century filmmaker, because you are so far ahead of your time. I see, hear, and feel it in all of your work. Sir T the mission statement of Sir Tony Films Incorporated is where the actors are the special effects, leaving a legacy of work that inspires and helps humanity long after we are gone. Now here are the scripts that Sir Tony and I will be working on, and these are only six of the many we will be doing together. Number one, a view from the porch. That's Sir Tony when he first moved to LA. When I got to LA, I felt I was finally home and I wrote my first play, A View from the Porch. It's a true gift to all generations about getting home. Marlene and Peggy Wolf, who were the owners of the house after their late mother passed away, um, their, their mother wanted them to keep the house as a place to help troubled, home, sick, and financially poor young adults have a home to go home to and know they can afford. And Sir Tony fought them to keep the house and they were about to sell it to the city of LA and the sisters gave them, they gave it to the LA youth organization to help troubled young people have a place to stay and afford to live in. And this is the first play that Sir Tony wrote when he first moved to LA. Number two, The Misfit Shop. The screenplay I created is a journey of our time and is meant to help men and womankind understand what actually creates war and violence and what we can do to stop it. A historic gift. I truly believe there is hope that we will one day make war obsolete. Have a great journey. Now, many people meet in a coffee shop for a couple's wedding and the night plays out where everyone reveals all the troubles they're going through and the awful, awful times and awful lives they're all living and how insane the world is and how it treats, mistreats people and doesn't treat them as people who matter. And this script is meant to address that and be heroic for people in this way. And it's very sad because war only and violence only create chaos, disorder, inequality, financial debt, and every awful thing you could think of. 
Number three. Forgotten Heroes, Summer of 69. A true American hero, Colonel Ray M. Miller, the general counsel for Sertoni Films Incorporated. This man came and visited Sertoni after he gave him a call and said, I really love this script and needs to be produced and seen by the entire world. He died, unfortunately. And in this script, there are families whose sons most of them under the age of 18, get sent to war to fight in Vietnam. And there was one character in here. Very sad, his name is Jimmy. He was an aspiring Olympic swimmer. He could have had a career as a, a Michael Phelps of his time. And he went to war, got his life taken away, and now he couldn't pursue his dream. War only rips families apart. And really, like I've said before, it creates world chaos, disorder, disruption, and leads to more conflict, and really does not resolve any global peace and order that is manageable and fair and safe for everyone and benefits everyone equally. And look what it did. It killed Jimmy and killed many other people and destroyed people's lives and families and everything and didn't fix anything. Number four. Christopher Columbus and his agent Harry. Take a journey of a lifetime. Experience what it must have been like to accomplish a dream to prove the world is round by a great hero, who does in fact teach us what it takes to get three ships to prove the world is round and change life on Earth forever. Now, as I read this, Columbus is like the idealist and real predictor and hopeful man that the next greatest thing in the world will happen. And Harry, his agent, is meanwhile the realistic, settle kind of guy who just says, look, well, we have to be realistic, but Columbus is like, no, there's something bigger we can do. Don't settle. And their chemistry goes very well together because, in reality, throughout the entire play, it's not about Columbus himself, genocidal maniac, slave owner, racist, ethnocentrist, bigotrist, you name it. It's about how him and his agent worked together to gather everything they needed because they had a dream and goal to build these ships and sail to the Americas and set a new name for a world record in sailing and say, this is possible and I know it is. I don't care who thinks we're crazy, but I know this will happen. And they pulled it off. And look what happened. If you have a dream, never give up on it. No matter if someone says you're nuts, because you can do it and you will. You will win. Stay in it. Number five, The Big Break. The Big Break, I wrote this for my actors in 2002 in my workshop, the total workshop for acting. The purpose of writing, producing, directing, and editing all the work was to allow my students to be the first actors in the history of the world to be able to see the work they were doing every week and to upload the work on the internet way before anyone knew how powerful it would become. YouTube finally came in 2006 and exploded. Well, it was already around, but it exploded in 2006 and the rest is history. This play truly allows you to understand the reality of the business and the insanity of the lies actors are told of what they need to do to get work. The magic of the truth is made clear and you will never be the same again as you travel the road to reality and, and inspiration and truth as you search for the big break in your career. Have a great journey and remember to share it with all your friends and anyone you know would need this insight so you could be the hero in all their lives as I have tried to do for all my students and friends. Amen.
Now, Brad Richter, who's like the famous Brad Pitt actor in this whole entire script. He's an A-lister. He comes into a cafe and sees all these inspire, aspiring actors and actresses and really comes to wake them up and say, look, what the way you're all pursuing this, you're overdoing it. You don't need to do most of the things you're doing. You just need to go out there, be around the right people, be on set, constantly work at it, on your craft and in the real world. And one day, you'll make it. You just gotta go out there and do it every day. That's all you have to do. With any dream, I don't care what industry it is, go out there and do it every day. Keep refining and strengthening your craft and keep moving forward because one day you'll be in a better spot. That's the morale of the story. This is the, the, the magic words, the last one, number six. Now, in this script, it could be anything. You meet with a group of people and you reenact the parts of the voice one of actually number one who's the boy or girl and then the voices and the judges and so a boy gets stuck in his dream and he has to get out of it by learning the magic words please thank you you're welcome and i'd say compliments are part of it as well and really he has to learn all this in order to escape his dream he does and it's a very good life lesson for everyone of all ages to learn and it can help us learn how to properly speak and communicate with one another and be kind and be moral and ethical people thank you very much everyone i wish you all the best and take care bye